Hi guys, and today we're going to take a look at a pair of Sennheiser HD800 headphones. These retail for £1,100 on Sennheiser UK or $1,400 on Sennheiser US. So without further ado, let's take a look at them. So as you can see, these are Audiophile headphones. So you're not going to get any fashion here. So it doesn't really matter about the looks of these headphones. These are meant for studio use for professionals and audiophiles. Um, they are open back, so they will leak a lot of sound. So they come in this nice presentation box. It has a piece of foam covering the cable. It has the Sennheiser logo on top of the box. This box is made out of high quality cardboard, very, very thick, not your standard cardboard. It's um, padded with foam and then velvet lined for a more premium appeal. The headphones come out of their insert and the cable does also. So this is your velvet lining to keep your headphones well protected. So that's that's what you would expect for a thousand one hundred pounds. And then you also have the Sennheiser certificate, say that you have the genuine article and some information about your headphones. I'll cover up the serial number because I don't want to show you guys that. Um, so that's how my headphones performed in the lab. That's the frequency response. And then there's a little message and then uh, a note from the C then the CEO's signature, I believe. And then there's a picture of the headphones. So that, um, you have to contact Sennheiser for that. Um, piece of paper and you have to print it off yourself you have to give them your serial number and um, I think I think it's great that they do that um comes with this nice manual I've kept it in the packaging I don't want to open it um, I want to keep it in great condition um, picture of the headphones and then you also comes with the cleaning cloth but I just don't want to open this I want to leave it sealed but it's very it's a very very thick manual so I believe it comes in lots and lots of languages since these are headphones that many audio files across the world will be using. So as you can see, these are very, very large headphones. They have large 50 millimeters driver inside there, and then a very, very large um, ear cup design. So as you can see, it looks quite space age. I actually like the look of it. Obviously these aren't fashion headphones, so there's no point talking about the looks, but the design of these headphones is perfect. Um, it's, it's got an odd, um, design here where it's the ear cup is clipped in this way but I actually like the design and it's very effective um, th there is decent amount of swivel in the ear cups um, I believe that there's a spring in here because if I turn it it springs back so attention to detail here um, got the black bit here the extension this clicks um, you have the info on the top, Sennheiser HD800, then you have the same on this side, and here's the big open growth, so these headphones will leak a lot, and it says high definition driver 300 ohms, so these are quite hard to drive, and then the cables are also removable, but I actually haven't re removed them yet, because I've tried pulling on them, but they just won't come out, so I know they are removable though. So, now let's talk about build. These headphones are actually quite well be built, even though they are made, made out of plastic. The top bit is metal here, and the headband can flex a lot. These are not cheaply built headphones. Although this bit is plastic, it's very high quality plastic. And this silver plastic around here isn't your standard plastic. It's actually glass filled plastic, 60% glass filled. Um, meaning you're going to get a very, very strong plastic build with this headphone. So it's it's just as, well, it's nearly as good as metal, to be honest. And then this bit around the transducer here, these bits here, don't push into that because that's a very delicate part. So don't push there. Um, this is a metal grill here. It's great attention to detail. Because it kind of goes up and then goes flat. Great design and great attention to detail with these headphones. Um, great clicks in the headband. Much better built adjustment than a lot of headphones, to be honest. Um, ear pads, also great quality microfiber. You can tell they're very premium ear pads. Um, overall, the build quality is absolutely tremendous with these headphones, even though they are plastic. And the cable quality is really nice. It's a braided material, it's extra thick, and 
comes with the 6.35 millimeter jack on the end so you, you can't plug this into a phone it has to go into an amplifier because these are meant for professional use it's gold plated um, it's a very nice metal uh, plug it says Sennheiser on it and I was very very impressed by this cable it's great quality and until and at, right at the top it's rubber but this bit's braided so great quality cable there. Um, I know you can get upgrades, but I don't really see the point in upgrading unless you're a really big audiophile who really cares about every little last bit of audio. Um, the comfort is also great with these headphones. These only weigh 330 grams, so they are very light headphones compared to many other audiophile headphones because many audiophile headphones do weigh in the region of 500 grams, which is half a kilo. So these are actually very, very light. Um, you don't get hot spot on the top of your head although the ear pads aren't very thick thick they are still very comfortable because they are microfiber and um the shape of the ear pad is what the human ear is it's a d shape and so your ear fits in perfectly because the human ear is not circular it is sort of a d shape so sennheiser have got that perfect there so it's really comfortable around the ear pads and the headband is also the microfiber material very very soft and it's nicely padded and then you've got a bit of a dip in the middle here but still very very comfortable design um these headphones don't clamp much either um there's very very little tension they just there's just enough clamp to be honest so great with the clamp there and Overall, I can't fault these headphones for their comfort because they're so big and um, the microfiber is so soft and they don't weigh much. They are the, they are just some of the most comfortable headphones I've ever used, if not the most comfortable. So great for comfort here. And now I need to mention that these headphones are actually quite hard to drive. They are 300 ohms. Um, I know some headphones out there like the Bayer Dynamic T1 are 600 ohms. But these headphones are still quite hard to drive at 300 ohms, so you are going to need an amplifier, and they will not sound good at all, even if you get an adapter to plug into the phone, so don't even try that. Um, I use a tube amplifier or a valve amplifier with these headphones. It's the Little Mark, Dot Mark II. It's only £180, £160, £70, but it still sounds absolutely stunning with these headphones. So, yeah, you are going to need an amp. Now, with my Little Dot Mark II, I... I talk about it with the valve amplifier at the moment because um, they do sound very very different with different types of amplifiers so with my valve amplifier the bass is really nice and warm and rich and very full bodied it's got a really nice tone to it and it extends very very deep um, it's not that punchy um, these headphones do, they don't over accentuate the bass um they're not like beat sounding obviously they are perfectly flat sounding these headphones are um from these 50 millimeter driver they produce absolutely perfect sound as the guy at sennheiser said he said these are perfect headphones and i truly believe they do because the bass is so rich and deep with these headphones and it doesn't muddy out the mids at all the mids are oh my god i can't even get over it crystal clear it actually sounds like you're there if you close your eyes really natural and crisp um, especially if you get a live recording in flak and you close your eyes you feel like you are at the concert it is stunning and the treble also extends phenomenally some people um, find these headphones a bit sibilant but to be honest i don't find them too sibilant and i just find that what people call sibilance just gives it a very crystal clear and crisp sound and the treble has superb sparkle and detailing to it um there's i can't fault the treble at all um and i know you guys are going to say oh well um uh, it's too sibilant or something like that but i truly believe that the treble is so nice with these headphones um with the valve amplifier it does roll off the treble a bit earlier than um, with a solid state and I am using it with a, uh, a valve amplifier so I have the advantage there but I'm talking about with a valve amplifier at the moment and the treble is perfect the mids are absolutely stunning and the bass is also great 
The soundstage and imaging is perfect. You can pinpoint details. The imaging is great. The resolution is unbelievable. The soundstage is very vast and very immersive. Um, it sweeps around the room, around my ears, like in, like even 15 centimeters away from my ears. It, it feels like I'm actually there. It's unbelievable. Um, with the solid state amplifier, the base, there isn't as much bass. Um, these are colder with the solid state and I believe that they need a valve amplifier. So the bass isn't as good, but it still punches well and it's got great detailing, but it's a lot nicer when you have the warmer sound, I think. Um, the mids are just as natural though, but the treble can get too sibilant if you use a solid state though. So I recommend using a valve amplifier with these headphones and that that's just my personal advice overall i do think these headphones are worth the asking price of 1100 pounds just because of that great build quality and comfort is also great but the main thing that the i'm selling um, i'm saying that these good are because the sound the sound is stunning and i hope you like this review if you did please like and subscribe thank you